Dan has an interesting way of prying the best products out of me. I've been working with him for years, and he makes me feel as though I'm not giving him the best that I have, so that I have to try to set aside and hold back, and it, it, it's psychology, and it's, it's brilliant. So he constantly keeps me on edge to make sure that he gets the, the best of the best. And I know what he's doing, but I still fall for it every time. Some of the things we eat in the stores nowadays don't have any flavor. Kids don't want to eat vegetables because they don't taste like anything. I can't keep the kids out of the cooler. I would describe Mountain Sweet Berry Farms as a farm that raises products for flavor. Our primary goal is to pr produce food that tastes good. We're in Roscoe, New York, the fly fishing capital of the Catskills, and we're, it's essentially the headwaters of the Delaware River. We have beautiful, clean water and cool nights and a mountainous climate that favors a lot of the things that we grow. Without listing everything, our primary products that we raise on the farm start with the strawberries, and we raise a tremendous amount of European and yellow-fleshed potatoes. Most of them are fingerling varieties. Over the years, we've just started taking on more and more Italian and French specialty vegetables. This fingerling is probably, I have to admit, the French were right, this is the best tasting of all fingerlings. So what we've done is we've almost exclusively planted the French variety and uh, it pays off. The flavor is just so good in these little guys. Most everything we do grows slow, doesn't yield uniformly, but tastes great. We also use almost exclusively heritage breeds of vegetables and a lot of different obscure varieties that have great flavor. The practices we implement on the farm that make sure that we have good quality begin with the soil. We use a lot of minerals to keep the plants healthy and you can taste it in the product. We also monitor the products themselves by using a refractometer. We extract the juice from a green bean or from a berry to check the sugar content to make sure that we're on the chart. We have a chart where we, we want to maintain the sweetness of a carrot, the sweetness of a strawberry within a certain level. So we may cut back the irrigation, we may foliar feed, with seaweed or something, to get everything in the range we want it to be for flavor. My favorite thing about Blue Hill is the, the symbol of that fact that you need to have good quality food to have a good life.